Hey guys, welcome back. Hope your Sunday is going good. As we said yesterday, today is going to be a special request video. As many of you know, uh, longtime viewers will know on this channel, Danny, uh, over on Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys, he and I have kind of a transaction going on, a long-standing transaction. He's a huge Jeff Gordon collector, and I've had, of course, a lot of Jeff Gordon cards in my collection, so I made a series, <coughs> excuse me, a series of videos showing my Jeff Gordon cards that he might be interested in. We found it was a, a very quick and unique way to uh, display my Gordon cards that he might have interest in and provides content for the channel. So anyway, without further ado, most of these cards are not part of my original collection, <clears throat> but were in, included in lots and so forth that I've picked up over the last year or so in my flea market runs. So anyway, we are going to enjoy... There's going to be a lot of duplicates, so I apologize in advance. So we're just going to kind of not necessarily rapid fire through these. There's a 99 high gear. That one's got a good look to it. <clears throat> Another 99 high gear. The Okay, that one is the MCI Fast Pace Award. That one's the Bud Pole Award. I liked how they do that. There is another. And I'm not going to front and back these just because that takes too much time. So checklist there. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, I'm sorry, my sinuses are ate up today. So uh, we have a 99 Wheels High Gear. Wheels had a subset called Chameleon where they showed a couple of different paint jobs that drivers ran through the year. There's the checklist again, the MCI award again. Here's a nice <clears throat> Gordon and Ray Everham started a team called Gordon Everham Motorsports, GEM. Ran a few races in the Bush Series. They ran a couple, won a couple races together. We've seen the Bud Pole car. Just double checking that one, making sure it was different. So yeah, like I say, a lot of uh, duplicates in this stack. There's another Chameleon, 99 at Press Pass Premium. <coughs> I apologize for my sinuses being so rough today. So uh, Press Pass Premium. Looks like those four are all the same. There is the car card. That would be the Bush Series car card of his. This is the Cup Series car card. 99 Press Pass. There's another preview of their 99 season for their Bush car. <clears throat> 99 Stealth Air Gun. Team DuPont Automotive Finishes. 99 Stealth DuPont Automotive Finishes car. We've just seen the Air Gun. NASCAR Bush Series, we've talked about that a little bit. <clears throat> There's another Gordon base card, more air gun. Okay, so all those are duplicates, and we're off to the <laughs> off to the races on the first stack. So I'm going to set these off to the side right quick. I'm going to make a secondary stack out of this. Looks like we've just seen that one, so we're going to have some duplicates. 98 wheels, 97 Daytona 500 winner, Jeff Gordon. Of course, that was an amazing race. Recommend you go back and watch that one. 01 VIP, 01 VIP, Rookie Thunder. Kind of talks about his rookie season. <clears throat> 2001 race winner, Jeff Gordon. This is not an insert. They just stamped those for some odd reason. VIP did a lot of odd stuff. And this one's probably a checklist, is it? No. The, <clears throat> the race winner was the checklist. So, this one is actually the checklist, and this one is the base card, number 43, I believe. But they're very identical, so we have the race winner, which is the checklist, and then the base card, which is number 43. I like the, uh, what they call that, Sunday Money. Kind of has where they want to race at, so that's done well with a race ticket. There's that one again. So, we've seen these. There's the uh, reflecting, uh, the exploding, or whatever whatever their parallel was that year. So you see it's hollow foil, very nice. There's another VIP, I guess it's explosion, VIP explosion, hollow foil. <clears throat> and then this is the wheels parallel. Can't remember what they called it. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's just, it's they didn't differentiate, but you can see it has a more of a chrome finish. So... Those ones, we've just seen the Chameleon. This is 96 pole position. This was just kind of an oddball set. I really didn't care for it much myself, but they did have a lot of nice cards in it. VIP is at 90. Yeah, we go back to VIP 99, it looks like. So we got a couple Gordon cards there. 
Then we have a the, the kind of the parallel of the 99 Stealth. All these sets had parallels. There's another parallel um, base set Stealth. Because I'm looking, because you can see the chrome. You can see the difference where this one's more flat and that other one's very reflective. So those are all chromed or whatever the parallel is. I'm, I'm just going with chrome. And then a 99 press pass. <clears throat> Start off again with the 99 press pass. I think we've seen some of these previously, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about them. 99 preview, I know we've seen these. So, still nice looking cards. These are great for signatures, this particular set. Not saying Gordon's going to sign a lot of cards. <clears throat> there we have an insert from 99 Press Pass. I believe that is, it's just a base card, but it's a short print, number 101. Press Pass liked to do that back in the day. 1998, they had the 50 greatest drivers that NASCAR had listed as their short print set for numbers 101 through 150. And I can't remember what they did, if they did in 2000. I think that's when they started doing the Techno Retro, with where the cards were odd sizes like this. So still, pretty cool insert there. <clears throat> We've already seen these. There's Okay, there's a good comparison of the, the Chrome versus the regular. You see how that light reflects off of it? So this is the Chrome checklist. There is the MCI Fast Pace Award winner Chrome version. And I know it's not Chrome, but that's what I'm calling it just for lack of a better word. <clears throat> so we've already seen these. Had plenty of these in the first go-around. Don't know if we've seen that one or not, but we're going to pop it up. That's a nice-looking card. And then it looks like just more of the same back here. 99 wheels. <clears throat> I think 99 wheels is an underrated set in terms of quality. I really like the look of the set. Now this one's got some hodgepodge in it, but we'll run with it. 96 Action Pack Credentials. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, one of those collector's choice. Can't remember the year, if it's 96, 97, 98. They only made it two years, but the way that, the way that they had their sets dated, and if you look on the back here, it says 97, so I don't know if that's for 96 or 98. It does not go with 97. So whatever year that they have it, it's either up or down one year. <clears throat> so it's either listed 97 and 98, and it represents 96 and 97, or it's listed 96 and 97, and it represents 97 and 98. I can't remember. 94 tracks. 98 max, I believe, 98 or 99. 98. I believe this is 99 max. 95 Action Pack Stars. The only thing I didn't like about Action Pack cards is their cards did not fit into these standard top loaders. That was the one thing that I didn't like about them. <clears throat> Another Action Pack Credential. 96 Pinnacle. This was a pretty cool set. 98 or 97. Victory Circle, I think. Or it's Road to the Cup. I can't remember. They had some sets that were very, very similar back then. Well, it says 96, but again, I know Upper Deck had some weird dating issues back then. Predator, 97. 99, a victory circle. Maybe it's 98, I can't remember. <clears throat> a lot of these really confuse me. And we have a 96 Crown Jewels, Ruby edition. They had a lot of layers. That was their base layer. 98 Maximum, Preview. So this wasn't part of the Maximum set. This was actually inserted, I believe, into another Max or Upper Deck product. See there, it's numbered P, P24, preview card. Action Pack credentials there. Gordon Scuba Diving. 99 Stealth, or 98, 98 Stealth, I apologize. Another Upper Deck here. I'm going to throw this one out because that corner is scuffed up. I don't like that. So this one's going bye-bye. 96... Uh, what is that? Racer's Choice. I did not like this set. Pinnacle came out with a ton of sets in 96. Didn't care for that one. If you watched their break last weekend or their live stream over there, they did this set, 95 Upper Deck Series 1. This was a, a base card, did you know? Actually, I'm sorry, this is Series 2. This is Series 2 Upper Deck. They did Series 1. I apologize. <clears throat> so we got, we've seen that one. 
There's the 95 Action Pack Stars. Action Pack had like five sets over in the uh, 95 season. This one's also in really bad shape, so this one's going bye-bye as well. Jeff Gordon VIP, I believe that's 98. I never did get much 98 VIP. I didn't care for this name, how they have the, the lettering spliced off with that logo. It's just very distracting. But the picture, the, the photography, and the, the graphics are good. I just don't like the way they did the name. Um, that one's going to go bye-bye. You see, it's uh, it's just all scuffed up. I don't like that. So I'm not going to even attempt to offer that. 95, or I'm sorry, 96 Upper Deck Road to the Cup. Award winners. Here's another one of these oddball racers choice. Again, I think that one looks a lot. That set here, the 97 racers choice, reminds me a lot of the 92 Bowman baseball. We've kind of documented that here on the channel. This one's going to go away too, 97 action pack. You can see the corner's all scuffed up there again. I'm not going to... And I got a couple more here that they're just... Um, this one's not as bad. The edges, uh, I don't know if you have this one, Danny. It's a, it's a, it's an upper deck. It's not the not, it's not the original Max, but it was some sort of throwback. I believe that was the ninety yeah ninety eight Max tenth anniversary. If you want that one and don't have it, I'll throw that one in just because that's that corner and that back's a little rough. I got no problems on that one. If you want that one, I'll just throw that in for you. Um, front runners, we've seen that one already. We've seen that one. It's like we got a lot of them we've already seen here. Home cooking, and we see a Dale Jr. card sneak in there. So we're gonna, he's gonna fall out of the draft here. I'm gonna put him over in this other stack. There's uh, again, this is 01 Trackside. I did a set review of this here uh, a couple months ago, and there is the die cut version, the parallel version. Got a few more in this stack. Looks like a pit crew card here. Looks like that might be at Rockingham. Are we at Rockingham? Yeah, North Carolina Speedway. So that's Rockingham. And that press box kind of gave it away too. Not the name, just the design. There's another 98 VIP. Another Predator. This is Upper Deck Series 2. Then this one's kind of scuffed up. If, if, if you're interested in that one, Danny, I'll throw that one in. I won't charge on that one. Here's a better condition. I mean, if you want the free one, you can have the free one, but I'll, I'll, this one will go in our deal if you want it, so I'll let you be the, be the judge on what you want. And a couple more here. Looks like 99 max. And we got one more stack of Gordons to go through. So we're going to split this one in two. So that, that way we can handle these a little more easily. Looks like we got some Predator. This is a Pinnacle Mint. Of course, we said Pinnacle had a lot. You see it does have a hole in it. There is a coin you can get that goes inside that slot. I do not have the coin. We've seen that one. we already seen that one. 96 Road to the Cup. I know a lot about that set. I've opened enough blaster boxes of it back in the day a couple more 95 there's that one boy whoever had these cards before me must have just stored them in a blender uh, 98 wheels with brook is that brook or ingrid i can't it's definitely not brook so another rolling thunder from collector's choice What's this, 98 Premium Trophy Dash? We've seen that one. This is 96 Road to the Cup, Screaming Steel. Um, it's not an insert, it's a subset. Consider subsets a set within a set. A base set, that is. Predator. Then we have, uh, we've seen that one. Another 98 Upper Deck, or VIP, goodness, wow. My brain's not functioning today. Viper, it's a nice looking card. Another Viper. It's here. This one looks like it's probably at Daytona. We have another Racer's Choice here. Bush Clash. Super Trucks. Scott Legacy, but Jeff Gordon was a co-owner on this truck. Yeah, there it is. Co-owned by Winston Cup driver Jeff Gordon and Rick Hendrick. 
So anytime I see something like that, Danny, I like to throw it in just so you can have something extra if you if you wish. Since it is part of that Gordon Legacy and it ran the identical paint scheme in 94 Max Series 2. I'm sorry, that's 95 Max Series 2. Apologize for having my years all jumbled up. Night Quest 96. Night Quest was a great idea for a set. But again, it was just one of these times where they came out with so many sets you could not keep up with them. If you look at sets in 95, 96, and 97, 96 and 97 spiked up with the number of products, and then they just kind of flatlined in 98. There's that three-car uh, uh, three Hendrick finish where they swept the top three spots in the 97 Daytona 500. There is the 98 Stealth. We talked about that earlier. Here's another one of these chrome parallel things from 99 Wheels High Gear. That's a sharp-looking card. we just seen this one. That one's got a bent corner on it, so... I'll, if, if you want that one, Danny, I'll throw that one in for no charge just because that bent corner, 96 Pinnacle, 97 Max, Speed Flicks, they opened some of those on the channel, 96, we've seen that one a few times, 98 Stealth Teammates, Jeff Gordon, then we have a, I don't even know what year this is, and again, this has got a really rough corner on it, Danny, so if you need this one, if you want this one, I'll throw that one in, just let me know. 98 Max 10th Anniversary, uh, looking at the uh, 89 Max set. Got another Collector's Choice, don't know what year, but it's out there. Um, another Upper Deck, not sure what year, Victory Circle or Road to the Cup. But there's the back of it. Looks like it's 98, has the 50th Anniversary tag. Another Viper. And another Viper. So we're getting a lot of Vipers in here. There's that one. There's that one. One little final stack here. Then I got a couple extra cards to show you. So we have Gordon with Brooke. That's definitely Brooke because it's 96. 95 champion. Got a nice upper deck card. We've seen that one. 96 press bass. Looks like he's in maybe Rockingham Victory Lane, because that would be early in the season in 95, because he did win at Rockingham in 95 in the spring. He did have seven wins in 95. Can't remember where they were all at, but that, that Victory Lane does look a lot like... Could be Darlington, too, because he did win the Southern 500, his first of four straight, 95 through 98. Pretty impressive run. Of course, 97, he won the Winston Million that year. In the Southern 500. Some 95 Upper Deck Series 2. Of course, 95, they went to the Monte Carlo. Here's a nice one with Jeff Gordon, Bobby, and Terry doing the detonation to break ground for Texas Motor Speedway. And you see Bruton Smith on the back. Have another 98 Maximum. This one is not a preview. This is part of the 98 Maximum base set. We've seen this card. We've seen this one. Bud Pole, I don't know if we've seen the Chrome version of this one. I know we've seen the MCI Fast Pace Award Chrome version. We've just seen that one. We've seen this one. Is this... Yeah, that's, let, me, let me look at a card that I've got sitting over here off to the side. Yeah, no, it's totally different. So we got a 97 Ultra. I believe that's 97. Yeah, 97 Ultra. Because uh, Fleer put out some Ultra products... And there's the uh, Power Preview card. Kind of, I mean, this was cracked ice before it was cracked ice. And Danny, this one's, again, it's it's nicked up. I'm not going to charge you for this one if you want that one, because it's, it's just in it's just in bad shape corner-wise. But the, that's cracked ice before cracked ice was a thing. Uh, 96, 95 Action Pack Country. Uh, riding shotgun, this subset had different things, different mementos that drivers would have riding with them in the cars. 97 Max. Uh, I can't even tell you what year Max that is. 98, 99, 2000, thereabouts. Because I really wasn't into collecting. They just show up in my stuff. I kind of had a downfall from about 97, late 97, early 98, till about 2002. I wasn't doing a lot of collecting. Uh, just didn't have the finances to do so. Um, we've seen these. There's a Chameleon card from 2000 Wheels. 
and it is not the parallel version, but that's the Superman car. Can't remember where he ran that one at. Maybe Richmond, hard to say. Bud Pull Award in 2000. 2000 wheels, 95 Series 2. Attracts race scapes. This actually, is this a checklist? No, it's actually an insert. I thought these were checklists, but they're not. It just has uh, different, they had different race scenes that they kind of, Used some sort of filter on the photo and made it look like a, a sketch, an artist sketch, if you will. So I thought those were pretty cool inserts. We've seen all of these for sure. We haven't seen that one yet. 95 champion pole position. I think that was a Brickyard win there. Yeah, you can see the brick in the background. So if this is 97, this would be the 98 Brickyard 400. I'm looking for the logo on his shirt that would... Looks like there's the right there on his left arm is the NASCAR 50th anniversary patch. So 98 Brickyard, yeah, I would have been there. I don't remember much about this race, though. I know I was there. I went from 94 to 99, and then a 2010, and then I went to a bunch of them from 2015 to... until they quit letting people in. I'll try to go there this year again, but we'll see. We've got Jeff Gordon, uh, 95 Upper Deck Series 2, Road to the Cup, and another 97 Racer's Choice. Now, those are all the, the cards that I've had for my lot, Danny. I told you I had a couple other special ones here. Now, I'm going to pull these out of this. I got it in a little jewel case here. But if you want these, this will be $2 for this set because that's what I paid for it. So I'm giving you exactly what I paid for it. I'm not marking it up or anything. But this is a special three-card set. I got this at a flea market, Jeff Gordon. And we'll flip it over and show you the backs of it. And it was released by Pepsi, and it has the Gordon Everham logo on it. So, and they're they're up like of a playing card stock. But if you want these three, that's two dollars for all three of those combined. And I'll keep them in the little jewel case, so that way they don't slide around. And then seventy-five cents on this because again, this is what I paid for it. And it's still sealed up, but I can take it out and put it in the jewel case with this if you like this. This is the 1997. This is the Shoney's release. There you see the Shoney's card. Um, you've probably seen it on the Flea Market Finds from Tennessee video. I did pick up an extra one of these if you had interest in it. So again, these are our normal price that we've pre-negotiated on that we've done in the past. $2 for this set, $0.75 cents for this card. That is if you're interested. If you're not, no big deal. I'll keep them. And then also had a few uh, extra petty cards that you might have some interest in. I did come across this one. And I think you may have had this in your binder, the Crisco 1989 Max. Of course, it's the special edition. Then I had a 93 Premier Plus uh, memorable moments card. The 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder with David Pearson. Then this uh, 90, or I'm sorry, 2000 Snapshots, Press Pass Snapshots. I may have, we may have had this in a deal before, but I can't remember. So we got those. And even this one, I actually had to look to see it because I didn't catch it. But yeah, it says uh, Junior Johnson on the door. But looky there, this uh, base set card from Press Pass 2011. Despite the name above the door, Richard Petty is actually at the wheel. So I thought that was pretty cool. So Press Pass Legends 2011. I'll zoom in there, and there you can see Mr. Richard Petty at the wheel of Junior Johnson's Mercury. So I don't know if you had that one or not. I'm sure that's, um, again, that's that goes in all of our pre-negotiated things that we've talked about. Oh, we got more Gordons here. I apologize. Let's, let's not cut off yet. Let's not uh, go off the rails. So, got a few more Gordons here. Got a Press Pass Ignite Blue Parallel. Uh, by the numbers Press Pass. See here, 95 Brickyard winner. I believe this is uh, some kind of insert. Can't remember. Yeah, these might be inserts here. Some of them were parallels. That's probably why they were in a different stack. So this is, no it's not, it's just a 93. Another 93 action pack, so those are base. 94 high gear base. This is a Hallmark card from Scoreboard. I believe this actually came in the box that had an ornament in it. So yeah, 
flip that over there on the back. Keepsake Company Hallmark Scoreboard. Pretty interesting. Um, the Rookies from 1993, Gordon Labani and Kenny Wallace. That is part of the base set. Got a couple more different by the numbers. We have different Walmart exclusives and so forth. That was just another one of those uh, riding shotgun cards. Defending Champion, Action Pack Credentials, 97 VIP, 97 Pinnacle. I can't read it. Print, printing still. Yeah, 97 Pinnacle, 97 Premium. We have another 96. And we got a few more Racers Choice here. Again, I really didn't care much for the Racer. I didn't care much for a lot of the Pinnacle products during this era. Then we have a Parallel 99 VIP. So you see that reflective, I guess they still call it Explosion. Yeah, it's labeled X. There's a Press Pass Stealth Parallel. This one is a promo card. And if you look at the back, it just gives you information about Race Sharks. So it does have the first bite there. Then this is the first bite parallel out of the set. We have another 01 track side. Trucks that haul insert. Jeff Gordon and Rick Hendrick. And then another insert. Jeff Gordon show car. So I almost forgot about those. I just looked over and seen a, a small stack. So Danny, let me know what you might have interest in in those. And... And I'll get back with you on some other stuff that, that I come across. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Danny, just get back with, with me whenever you can. Uh, may have to do the... Um, I know it's going to probably take you a day or so to review this because I know you'll watch it a time or two just to double check everything. Uh, sorry I didn't flip them over and show you the backs of every card for the numbers. Just had too many to go through here. But it, unless it was like that checklist where I seen two different base cards and one had the thing... Everything should be base, so uh, just get back with me on anything you need or anything you have questions with. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.